we're starting off with city news. New York City is initiating a pilot program to assist migrant families by providing prepaid debit cards. These cards, initially allocated to 500 families with children, are designated exclusively for purchasing food and essential baby supplies from various outlets including bodegas, grocery stores, supermarkets, and convenience stores. This initiative replaces the city's current practice of offering non-perishable food boxes to migrant families residing in hotels. The shift is expected to save over $600,000 monthly, totaling more than $7.2 million annually. The prepaid debit cards empower families to buy fresh, culturally relevant food and preferred baby supplies. Recipients are obligated to sign an affidavit affirming the card's proper use with any violation risking removal from the program. Since the spring of 2022, over 173,000 migrants have entered New York City's intake system. More than 60% have subsequently transitioned out of the city's care. In other news, New York City is rolling out its permanent outdoor dining initiative, Dining Out NYC. These rules aim to prioritize fairness and broaden access to safe outdoor dining across all boroughs. Initially emerging during the pandemic to compensate for restricted indoor dining, sidewalk cafes and streeteries played a crucial role in supporting small businesses. The summer of 2023 saw the extension of outdoor dining to every neighborhood in all five boroughs. Scheduled for implementation in March, the new rules concentrate on rectifying issues observed during the temporary program. They include a fee structure tied to the size of roadway sidewalk cafe, a prohibition on fully enclosed structures, and an eight-month operating season for roadway cafes from April to November. The objective is to create a more open and visually unobtrusive outdoor dining experience distinct from the enclosed structures of the pandemic era. The application portal for Dining Out NYC opens in March 2024, with existing establishments having until August to apply for continued operation. In community news, South Bronx CARES and residents rallied against the oversaturation of supporting housing and shelters. Our BronxNet reporter Chanel Thompson was there to tell us more. South Bronx CARES and local residents marched and rallied against the oversaturation of supportive housing and shelters. This has left unanswered questions for the people who live in this area who are asking politicians why the Bronx is the first option for housing and shelters in New York City. The issue we're focusing on is they de demolished a, a church that was an institution in the community that was 135 years old. And we had petitioned for this church to be considered for landmark status, but somehow that fell through the cracks and the church ended up being demolished and the lot's been sitting vacant because they're not trying to build actual housing on the lot. What they're trying to build is shelters. And this area is saturated with shelters versus other boroughs that don't have as many. So the statistics are there. If anyone wants to look, you can see it for yourself. We spoke to some local residents who feel unheard and forgotten because of the many different changes that have happened within this community. They say they are tired and upset with the way things have been handled involving the Bronx. We shared the burden of the city. Can we share, can, we, can, can the rest of the community, can the rest of the um, boroughs share our burden as well? What they're doing essentially right now, what we feel is that they are, the South Bronx is the recycling center for New York, and we don't like it. And the first thing that they people say is, oh, the Bronx is dirty, the Bronx is this, because we hear that all the time, right? The Bronx is where we're raising children. The Bronx is where we have our businesses. The Bronx is where we have our neighbors that care very much, and we care very much about each other and we want to flourish as a community. We are, we are like, you know, we just, we just worry about the way things are trending right now, and we just want uh, more in, positive uh, things coming to our neighborhood. Rather than, you know, shelters, we want like a specific uh, programs for the, for the children, um, hopeful things, like yeah, there's too many good things. I mean, we, we want balance. That's what we're asking for, balance. Yeah, balance. I mean, yeah. why is everything coming to the South Bronx? All the negative stuff coming to the South Bronx when we have so much of it. 
Like, give us some hope. South Bronx Care's mission is to fight for the homes and the community and make it a better place to live. We hope to see their answers are heard from politicians and changes are made in the near future. To learn more about South Bronx Care's latest news and updates, you can visit their website at southbronxcares.nyc. Reporting for BronxNet, Chanel Thompson. Thanks, Chanel. That's all for the Bronx updates. We have to take a quick break, but we'll have more open when we return.